Well, Matthew, first of all, um, congratulations on uh, being awarded the BOA funding uh, in preparation for the Winter Olympics, which will take place in 2018. But um, Thank you. What, are, what are some of the things you're going to be looking to do to ensure you maximize the funding and give yourself the best opportunity to qualify for the Winter Olympics? Well, one of the main things that I'm going to be doing this summer is a lot of training. And with that funding, it has actually taken me all the way down to Australia this year for about three weeks to a month, actually. And um, everything that I do now is going to have a strong benefit on me later in the year. And with I'm struggling somewhere in the year, I can always come back and look on this basis that I'm creating in the summer with all this training and be like, oh, okay, so this is what I did in the summer that was successful, and I just have to translate that over into the winter. When you get on top of the slope, obviously it's a long way down. But what are some of the things? Because it's not a, it's not for for Bermudians, it's not a a normal thing. So you're you're competing, you're 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 flipping in the air. How do you, how do you prepare? How do you train for that? How do you how do you build up enough nerve to come down and try to do it in the shortest amount of time, beating your opponents? A lot of it is repetition. A lot of it is repetition. You know being able to go out there and put yourself in different scenarios where, you know, you're going bigger on some airs or the speed is different on your skis this, like, one day than it is on another, you know, because the snow conditions can change. So being able to ski in various conditions is a key, but a lot of it is mentally preparing yourself and having, like, a an iron mind because – if you don't want to have a weak mind or be thinking about what's going to happen on the hill. You just want to think about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. I'm not, you know, I'm not thinking about the negative things that could happen in my run. And if I do, that's usually where a negative thing will happen in my run. And so I mainly just prepare myself mentally, you know, get myself into a a strong mental zone where it's just positive thought and um, smart thinking and just training in lots of different various conditions. You would, I would consider your your last season to be a very good one for you. Um, what what were the things that your coaches were working on to ensure that you improved on your time, your ability to get down that slope, to to just work on the technical stuff? What were some of the things they worked with you to ensure you improved on? Well, a lot of it was dialing down my bottom air because I've been struggling on that my bottom air for. Uh, quite a bit because it's had some problems where I drift into different lanes of the course. And when that happens, it, um, you lose points. And when I was in Deer Valley for the world cup, that's what happened. And that's what kicked me back to a pretty low spot. But if I landed and put that down the line and I, I would have been in a higher position. So a lot of it is just being extremely consistent with the airs that I have. And then, pushing myself when I have that consistency for quicker times, better turns, and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of it was, you know, focusing on consistency with landing my both my airs and uh, quicker turns and neater looking turns. No, you're you're still young. You still got a lot of growth, a lot of a lot of life left in you. But when you started right. this journey, did you see it was 2018 in your in your vision to try and qualify for the Olympics, or was that later down? But the opportunity is now presented in front of you. When I was when I first started, I definitely didn't think I'd be here. You know, um, when I 
first started going to the Savale Skiing Snowboard Academy over in Minturn, Colorado, I didn't think, you know, I thought I was just becoming a more serious athlete. I didn't think I was going to be reaching this Olympic level yet. But as the years started to progress and my results started to add up, I slowly found myself into my freshman year here at the Vail Ski and Snowboard Academy. And that's when I got my Ber- fist license for Bermuda. And that's when I, was, I started thinking about the Olympic dream. That's uh, my freshman year was when I started thinking about that, but it slowly grew it, because I, at first I thought I was going to be, you know, just skiing for fun and, you know, just having a good time. But then that slowly turned into a passion and it slowly became a more competitive environment, which I, I loved. And I slowly, wanted to keep that going and I wanted to push it as far as I can with the time that I have. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle.